thanks for coming out today. Um, this is a really special show. I've been looking forward to seeing the, these guys for about, a, I don't know, for a long time. These guys here, Viv and Riley, they've been playing music together. I mean, they grew up with this old-time music, um, and they went to school together, I think, in Seattle. And they were in a, they're also in a band called The Only. It's a great old-time string band. So their their music is it just it's you know it comes from old time music, but they they write some wonderful songs, and all their music is informed by various traditional music. And I think you're really going to enjoy these guys if you give them a nice round of applause. I believe they'll come out and play and sing for you. Thanks, Dan. Y'all, thanks for coming out on such a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Uh, we're so happy to be in St. Louis. It's a beautiful room.
things inside me that I just can't put you through. You're the one of my dreams, and you will promise to. Please hear me when I say I can't live without you. First one's a new new song. It's called Savi Island. It's uh, about a beautiful island outside of Portland, Oregon, where we both used to live that we would escape to during the pandemic times. And we wrote that song, kind of started it during that time, and then wrote it after the fact, looking back about, just thinking about the sweetness that was, you know, the hard stuff, but also the sweet stuff, and how they can be mingled, intermingled, you know. Um, and then that second song was a, uh, an older song from our last record called Will You. We just put out a new record on Friday. Um, thank you so much. And uh, we've been all over, we've been gone from, we've been out on the road for the last couple weeks, um, all over the Midwest, uh, trying to get the word out. And that's a that's an old track. But uh, that would be crazy if it already had four million. Yeah, the Spotify That'd gods smiled us. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, we just put out music and immediately four million. As of Friday. Yeah, yeah, it's it's gotten a little buzz. Uh, no, um, uh, yeah, sometimes this, the, there's these just. It's kind of like a mafia of music, actually. Um, like sometimes in this like the current music world that they, they just smile upon you and they just decide to give you four million streams and then other times they decide you're no one um, well we're gonna do the first song off of the new record and um, this is one I wrote about going home my the, to my the, the house that I grew up in in Rockbridge County Virginia and the bittersweetness of that Finally 
hit the driveway 15 miles out from the highway Crack one open No one's watching Bedrooms looking smaller Or am I just getting older Same old play things Tattered window Everyone's jealous This year's been such a mess I'm coming over Don't you know that I can't stay here for too long I'm just a visitor An inquisitor In the place that I call home Across the Blue Ridge Where my heart is I'm just last April, so it's been a long time coming. Feels good to have it out, and um, you have everyone here in it. For a while, you know, you just play it for your family or maybe your friends, but when, Viv, Viv, when Viv's dad heard that first song, Kyger Sale, he was like, he just did not understand how we possibly could have had the, had the, he was like, where did you get that idea for the guitar tone? Because it like reminded him of the Beach Boys, and he was like, you guys don't listen to that. We're going to play a song uh, from southwestern Virginia uh, in the singing of Texas Gladden called Cold Mountains. And 
that fire that's still burning underneath the coal. banjo I used to live in Ohio and I was playing my banjo one day in my kitchen and thought I was a genius because this whole song just came right to me like words and all um, and the, you know the melody and everything and uh, <laughs> I transferred it to the fiddle I wrote it down and I transferred it to the fiddle and I realized I just kind of rewritten uh, Bowling Green the traditional song <laughs> and uh, as it happens uh, but it didn't stop us. We decided to record it and play it every night, and uh, hopefully we don't get sued by the tradition or something. <laughs> Let's 
last night in Cedar Rapids and uh, we got up this morning at 6 a.m. and uh, it was kind of a wild night because the uh, the elevator in the Hampton Inn was broken. Uh, that's not usually how a wild night goes but uh, that, that's our definition of a wild night uh, these days on, on at least at least for the last last little while. Um, so we did some good hoisting up the stairs. And then it was the question this morning was like, do you get on the elevator? <laughs> and we did, and we were okay. But I did have a thought like, we might miss the show because we might get stuck on an elevator at Hampton Inn in Cedar Rapids. We did not. A leap of faith. And there was like, okay, the last detail is like, there was like a plain closed, I would like, the guy fixing the elevator at the Hampton was very like plain closed. Like he looked like a dad who like was yeah, a baseball. Well, I, I accidentally said, I said, the elevator's broken because I saw this guy trying to like really tear the elevator open. I was like, it's not working. He's like, I know I'm the one trying to fix it. it was just, I just like would have liked if he had a uniform on for some reason. Just didn't feel like I necessarily, I wanted to see his credentials, you know. I wasn't so... Do a new one. This is called The Long Way. Finding a chance to look around, taking a breath to settle down. It's hard when you're always moving around Growing up then falling back Learning right ways to react Looking ahead till you realize You're moving too about 
really pretend and put it up in smoke. But he'd rise up all around me, fill my brain and make it cloudy, damp it down or let it burn. To write all these new songs, you know, our last records they were a little more like country and old time, uh, and 
you know, it, whatever comes out, we just don't try to like steer it in any sort of direction because being creative is like, it's not always, doesn't always come in the ways that you expect, you know, so I got an electric guitar and we got into the drum set and we just started jam, like playing a bunch of songs, like just like that. And some of those songs on the record are come from, from those kind of sessions, just, uh, just trying to figure out what to do next. And uh, that was one of them. It's, it was fun. You should hear Viv play that on the drums. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you all, do you all remember when the, uh, when the billionaire started going to space uh, kind of out of the blue? Like, it seemed like it was just like one or two weeks. Just, I think it was a couple years ago. I did not like that. I don't know about you. That was a bad feeling. Um, and uh, around that same time, it was, yeah, it was like two summers ago, and it was the UN, that same time that the UN climate report came out, the one that was got a lot of press as like the doomsday report saying that we we need to shape up our act if we want to avoid the worst of the climate catastrophe that's coming our way um the third thing that was happening around that time was uh we were we were going to play shows uh for the first time after covid and people were just like they didn't really know how to act around other people uh and it was just kind of weird situations we were driving like super long distances from our house for bizarre gigs um Anyway, so those three events uh, led me to, to think about what is a dark phenomenon that I perhaps expect one day, which is getting a call from our booking agent or someone and uh, offering us a, a gig on Mars. Um, and the thing that I was anticipating it would be was not a guarantee or even a door deal, but I'm uh, just playing for tips and exposure. Um, <laughs> And just, you know, like, you, you got to get up and play for the new markets up there. Like, they just really, they love music. They love the kind of stuff that you guys are doing. Won't be good the first time, but, you know, second, keep, third, fourth times, they'll be worth it. You just keep coming back. Go to the green, go to the, the merch table after the gig. Meet some people. Uh, anyway, I thought that was a pretty bad idea, so I wrote this song. It's called Is It All Over? Western drought be the last of water, all but the swimming pool on the Vegas Strip by the Eiffel Tower. And when they run out of names for hurricanes, will they start over? And will the Arctic have a baseball park and a field of clover? Ooh. Is it all over? Do you think they'll ship us off to the mines on Mars and make us work there? If they do, will the towns have bars and amusement stars and a Warby Parker? There's bars and mining towns, bands fly up to play for the rovers. Will it be a door deal or a guarantee or tips and exposure? Ooh, is it all over? Ma'am, if I get enough, then I'll come back and I'll make you mine. Ooh, is it all over? Ooh, is it all over?
Thank y'all. We're going to do one more and then take a break. We're going to end this set with the title track off the new record. This is Imaginary People. Riley change instruments a lot, but have multiple of different instruments that he has to change the microphones for. Every night I take this into the wherever we're staying, and every morning I take it back out to the car and I pack it in. I carry this fiddle all around and I just play it on this one song. Uh, worth it? I do not know. I could just play this song on the guitar, but it's all for y'all, you know? Just hoping that you might like this a little bit better. <laughs> Did it, 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 did it,
thanks so much. We'll be back after a nice short break. All right. So, you know, these guys are ready to go. So just give them a hand and we'll right. get going. Thank you, Tim. It feels like a lifetime since I felt free. When we stayed out all night, danced underneath the moonlight, back when you fell. So 
song is you know a very specific song it's about something it's about someone in a time it's very specific obviously uh, that's a really specific description it's about a place and a time <laughs> <laughs> it's about a place and a time thanks for sharing <laughs> yeah no i was i was leading to something Viv. i promise y'all uh anyway i was uh it's I was at a festival called Clifftop that I go to, that we both go to every year, and uh, I was, you know, hanging hanging out. There's no cell reception there hardly, and um, I had re I realized that I hadn't told the person I wrote a song about them, and uh, I it was like ten at, at night, and at Clifftop the night starts to fall, and it all gets very magical, but also and for context, it was coming out the next morning. It was coming out the next day, <laughs> and so I. <laughs> got in my car and I spent like an hour and a half like trying to write a text to her um, and it turned out great she really liked the song and she really appreciated it and we reconnected but it was just like the weirdest cliff top night ever and that's this story is just for basically two people uh, uh, yeah it's good to reconnect with people from the past and sometimes it's not easy though to reach out and say hi and that you wrote a really intense song about them. All right, we're gonna play you a fiddle tune. Uh, it's called Chance Creek. 
There's a, a, a person who comes, I hope they're okay, and I, I hope everything's okay, but there's a there's an ad for one of the shows, and every so often uh, it it's like a sort of older gentleman with a banjo, and, and it, yeah, it just flashes over his picture, it just says canceled. <laughs> Uh, and uh, I hope he didn't. I hope he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh, the TV went off. We're not allowed to see that. <laughs> I guess we can cut this part out of the movie that comes out. Yeah, he really hurt. Yeah, he really hurt me too. So. <laughs> sad cowboy song and it's one that we learned from a great band uh, called Bigfoot and uh, we actually have a Bigfoot member in the house everyone uh, so that's very special uh, Mr. Reese Jones and it's it's yeah please please everyone it's a questionable decision to play this in front of Reese because yeah, you can't absolutely. really beat the original you can't we have really been enjoying playing this song every day so I'm gonna keep it going and this is cool from this is kind of a cool show for me because one of my favorite I, I'm a huge Bigfoot fan but also even before I 
that record even came out, I was uh, really inspired as growing up playing fiddle by the Reese and Jim records, um, and and uh, Jim and Jeff. Uh, and uh, anyway, uh, when I was learning how to play banjo, I would just play along to those records for hours at a time because um, they're just they just rock hard and they're straightforward and they sound great and um, anyway so it's kind of cool it's one of the coolest parts of this job playing traveling around and playing music is when you get to I don't know cross paths with people's music people whose music you admire so that's always I think one of the most fun parts of the parts of it anyway this is a song called Bury Me Not and Reese is playing here I think next month is that right so Make sure you come back for that show. You got the Viv and Riley bump. <laughs> <laughs> Sisters' tears, my 
ain't mangled air Where my friends can come and weep for me Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie Where the dewdrops fall and the butterflies Where the wild blossoms bloom and buried rest Where the buffalo roam and the wind blows free Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie <laughs> Of that Bigfoot record. You can hear Susie Gearing singing of it. That second tune is called The Lost Gal. Uh, and I learned it from, well, I think I first heard it from Ron Kane, who's a great fiddler from Wyoming, played in the Desert String Band, and then I learned it from Clyde Davenport. Who, you know, we all know good Clyde Davenport. <laughs> I like the people who probably don't know Clyde Davenport. It's like Roy Donk, you know. <laughs> the Colgate Hour. A lot of our shows are exactly like that. We're just saying names. Like, we could be making them up. Like, that great Eastern Kentucky banjo player, uh, Quentin, uh, Quentin, Davis. Quentin, Quentin Davis. Yeah, Quentin Wright Davis. Cross the road again, mournful parting friend. Moving on, night falls quickly, silently insisting that what's gone is done and done. White seal staring disbelieving while you lie 
sleep Smile on your lips Steal the kiss Soon tomorrow We'll be having coffee Just to keep ourselves From fading like the heat Fades to fall No talk about love and chance Let's not talk about the plans we made Finally just sit and watch the sun It's such a beautiful day out there, and uh, we really appreciate you taking a couple hours out of it to come and see us. So, Yeah, uh, thank you so much. And uh, we really want to thank Jim for having us. Um, this is such a cool spot, uh, and it's good to works out perfectly for us to come out. And it's a great way to end our Midwestern leg, so thank you so much. And they treat you, they treat you so good here, so we're very grateful. so much to John on sound for doing such a good job. Damn, it feels great up here. So, and the people making the videos and all the volunteers, like, this is this is a top-notch operation, so we appreciate it. Um, we're going to end, I think we've played our whole record now, our whole new record, uh, in a roundabout fashion, uh, but we're going to end. one more off the record we haven't done yet. Yes, you're so right, that's <laughs> where I was leading, and... But I said it in a really confusing way. I led you to believe it was basically misinformation, which is why I too will show up on that screen. <laughs> a canceled. canceled. Yeah. Uh, um, well, we're going to play you. This is a song from the Ozarks, so I guess not too far from here. Um, and I'm sure these people who, that I learned it from have played here uh, uh, Jim and Kim Lansford. Uh, and so this is a pretty cool ver version that we uh, that my dad showed to me when I was growing up uh, of the Blackest Grove. And the, the key difference is it's in four four. Mind if we sing the, just this? Cool. Let 
time draws near, my dearest dear, when you and I shall part, the grief and woe you soon must know.
living down in Asheville, fooling round us till dawn. I've been tossed and turning, restless all night long. You've been trying to tell me no one knows what the years will bring. I've been trying to tell you, time is everything. me tight, held another for night. You crossed lines, but they were just drawn here in chalk. Even down in Asheville, fooling round us till dawn. I've been tossing and turning, restless all night long. You've been trying to tell me no one knows what years will bring. I've been trying to tell you, time is everything. Time is everything. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate you. Thanks for coming out. We're Vivian Riley, and uh, we hope to see you again sometime. Thank you so much. That's very kind. <laughs> well, we'll play you a country song. The, the, the song we skipped, we'll play you. It all evens out in the end. If anyone feels like two stepping, this is a, a good one to do. You can one step to it, too. <laughs> How about Vivian Leave, everybody? Yeah. That's Riley Calcagno. <laughs> We've been playing together for a long time, and this one's off a record we're not even traveling with. I don't know why. Um, do we not have any more? We're not traveling with the oh, no. is everything. Are no. we out? We, we just didn't bring any. We didn't bring any. Well, that's how that's how long we've been playing. We're not even bringing the old records. Um, it's uh, but it's off a record from 2018 called "Time Is Everything," and it's called "Why Don't You Introduce Me As Your Darling." <laughs>
introduce me as your darling Whenever someone you know is inside Why don't you introduce me as your darling Maybe I'll be another's love tonight Oh yes, I think I'll be another's love Thanks again. Yeah. Thank you so much.